This is one of the events lined up to mark the nation's 63rd independence anniversary. Vice President Shetima uses this occasion to assure Nigerians of his principal's commitment to his renewed hope agenda, especially in rebuilding a country where the economic independence of each citizen is guaranteed and where none of them has to depend on handouts to earn a living. According to him, this anniversary offers Nigeria another opportunity to acknowledge the cross-regional bonds that have kept the country standing as Africa's most populous nation and largest economy. We are going to emerge from this place of our reform stronger. Each of us with renewed hope as we honor the labor of our heroes past. As we reflect on the values and principles that have brought us this far, as we strive to excel in all that we do, and as we work together towards a future where opportunity knows no bounds, let's remember that our most potent weapon is the overriding resolve of the majority to choose unity over chaos. The Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation as a coordinating point implementing for implementation of policies and decisions of government that has made full arrangements to document and carry forward the critical outcomes of the symposium to the highest level of political leadership. We are necessary relevant national think tank institutions such as the National Institute for Strategic Studies, NIPS, and the Nigerian Institute for Social and Economic Research, NISO would be engaged to deepen the articulation. Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, called on the federal government to consider increasing the salary of workers to mitigate the current economic situation in the country, while advising the administration to build on the existing synergy among the different arms of governments to provide the much-needed democratic dividends to Nigerians. Also speaking on the Tinubu administration's Renewed Hope agenda, and the lecture themed actualizing the vision of renewed hope for social economic development through effective leadership. The guest speaker, Dr. Goke Adegoroye, commends President Tinubu for the steps taken so far in repositioning governance and resetting the economy. The issue of coming up with a living wage is the foundation of a corrupt free society. If a worker is paid well, he is paid enough to be able to afford his basic needs. It will help to eliminate corruption in a significant way. Because he does not need to, to steal to be able to feed his family. Today in the Nigerian project, this is what is completely absent. As the president, he has praised before us his vision of renewed hope. At this time in our nation's history, he is the eagle on our nation's coat of arms. The visionary has perched. But his plumage is going to be provided by all of us in leadership positions at all levels across the three tiers of government in this nation at national and subnational levels. Present at the event were top government functionaries among others.